Oregon. There's somebody over there in Oregon that's hacking up rig rigs. You're walking on over some some splatter box screwball over there, so I don't know what he's trying to do. He's incompetent, is what he is. Walkie talkie talkie, you're walking on some idiot over there in Oregon. Keep it going. Oh, there we go. We got a window liquor. I guess he's going to jail or something. Every time I gotta keep setting this example of these, you know, the underbelly of the screwballs and the hack shops and the con artists. There's some tiny or something up there that's been hacking up for us, from what I understand. A lot of people have been wanting to send radios in for some tiny CB shop guy hacking up radios. But we'll see, man. They'll probably end up on the CB radio hall of shame. Uh, hear that poor little window licker out there? Uh, yeah, he's a little window licker in Oregon. Listen to that spider box garbage. And when you expose these morons out there, they just whine and cry. You got a little window licker on that junk here, all in case you can hear him. Yeah, every skip cycle, man, we get more and more of these little undesirable screwballs. You can't tell, they're talking on, like, transgender radios, you know, you can't tell what they're even talking. Usually when they got to use, like, a HF rig or some digital injection, it's because they're incompetent. They're, they just don't know what they're doing. I mean, that's just common knowledge. Right, we got to keep on building radios. Watch out for these screwballs. I'll keep exposing them one at a time. Back to the bench. Yeah, 
vehicle's over.
Try to be nice to each other too on those radios. Give it a try. Sometimes you have to be the change in the world that you're looking for. You know, it takes, all the professionals know it takes twice the driver to be a courteous driver, cleaner and meaner. There'll never be a substitute in the desert. Back to the bench. Thank you for the break. Click, click. Yeah, the screwballs in the sea. Yeah, you can't be a professional and talk on a splatter box. That's kind of like being a screwball, right? <laughs> yeah, hillbilly audio splatter box. You could probably probably got dirty windows, you know, and throw whiz bottles out back mouth the side. You, know, you want a you know professional, a real professional with a real front door radio, you know, that slice and dice, crystal clear. That's what the real professionals want. That's what they talk on. They want the best. They don't want a splatter box screwball where you'll make them look like an idiot. Back to the bench. Have a good day. That's exactly right, man. Cleaner and meaner. That's what it's all about. Slicing and dicing. Back to the bench. Nobody wants that hillbilly junk anymore.
Chiefs book only real names. Cleaner meter. Back to the bench. Pay attention.
They call it wide banded, 200% modulation, NPC. That's just some real screwballs. You see, what they do is they pray. They pray and pray and pray. It's all they can do is pray, as in P R E Y, upon the gullible, the stupid, etc. You know, but they learn slowly but surely. You see, some of these guys, it might take them a year or a decade. They spend 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. They still got junk. You guys are listening and getting really mad because you get the food, maybe, huh? <laughs> but it is what it is. Sometimes I gotta use you as an example. If you got like weird issues, you know, you got some deep seated psychological strains, you know, screwed up issues. Like wherever you go, you got problems, you know, that kind of person. Get out of here, man. Just there's some hack shops out there that'll take care of you. <laughs> if you got those issues, just move along. If you don't have issues, you're just a normal person that can follow simple directions, you know, then you may contact me on Facebook, you know, your real name appears. But most of my guys are like ex-military, and a lot of them haul, you know, heavy loads. They need a radio that's going to perform at really close range, crystal clear, and really far range, too. You get the picture, right? Safety first while you're rolling and strolling. Professionals only, and I'm back to the bench. The strikers out of the box, yeah, these are called export radios. These are all the exports, pretty much bottom of the barrel. Yeah, they're really nasty, dirty. That's why they're called exports. But anyways, yeah, 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 those poor little fellas talking on ham rigs. I think I've already exposed all those bottom of the barrel type of people. We don't want to hear that junk on this channel. They obviously burnt their bridge with Mr. Hard Drive. Yeah, they burnt their bridge. And, uh, well, I can't, I'm sure you're going to hear them just whining and crying. Just listen to the tone of their little voices. And I'm back to the bench. Click, click. Yeah, I'm sure you do hear all those barefoot fine-tuned radios everywhere. I can't stay. i got to keep on working. These guys are waiting on these radios. I'm sure you do, man. Yeah, this, the exports and especially the strikers, they're absolute garbage out of the box. You know, there's so many problems, but there's videos that covers all this stuff. Yeah, the channel selectors are always defective. The tip 36 is constantly blowing. And totally sucks for getting extremely hot on FM. The receiver's all noise. <laughs> all frequency, I like every single one of them. Anyways, that's all resolved, man. We got that down to a science. Pay attention, like they say. Mr. Harga put that proof in the pudding. Don't be so miserable. Back to the bench. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I told you to get off that hillbilly audio and speak English. You heard what I said. What'd you say? Get out of here. I'm on a hard drive. Whoa, whoa, radio. Safety first. No, it's only the fine tune radios that do this, but there's nobody else on the kind of. Like 
40 years over the road. And you can follow directions. You may contact me on Facebook and your real name, then don't be in a hurry. Back to the bench. Yeah, and I don't know of anybody in the remote that can come close. Nobody. There was, they would have already addressed Mr. Hart. I don't mean no little panty whacker, panic attacks, be real, motor mouth, mouth, none of them screwballs. I mean someone that's actually like an ARP engineer that's capable of reproducing this over and over. Not that little junk stuff, man, you know, want to be garbage. You know, facts are facts. Like they say, Mr. Hard Drive puts their proof in the pudding. We're gone now. Bye-bye. Pay attention. Type in Barefoot Mobile Mud Duck Radio. Real names on the... You got weird... In, you know, you got weird issues, man, you know? You got, you got you're like, you're screwed up in any way? Yeah, just get out of here. Don't be trying to contact me. I don't deal with screwballs anymore. Back to the bench. Exactly, you make it whatever is most convenient for the technician, exactly. You got weird issues, man, you know, just move along. You want the best, well, I think you know the procedure, we're clear. I'm on a hard drive, whoa, whoa, radio. Yeah, yeah all the professionals, are, they're, they're pretty much dumb and all that over-modulated transgender, you know, hillbilly audio. I just got to contact on Facebook, man, and uh, don't be in a hurry. Back to the bench. You're a minute. I don't part that we're so finished, Mom. You can always tell. It's real easy to tell. You know, when they either had, you know, I haven't heard anybody else yet do anything worthwhile. I'm sure it's quite obvious, like they say, you know, hard drive puts the proof in the pudding. That's just the audio, man. That's what you're looking for. It's got to be extremely clean. And, you know, cleaner and meaner. And we're back to the bench. I haven't met anybody else yet. Like the last Mohican of the Mile High. With a 102 inch steel whip I ride. 420 in Denver got down. Thank you. 
Peter and me are oh, so what's the way it's supposed to be, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're on a splatter box, I mean, you're unprofessional. Deeper 
right now. Safety first, we're gone. 